What up, you two? We, uh, we're going to finish the night tonight with some Ren. Um, I have never heard or done dominoes. Right, Zag? The fuck? Um, do me... Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to cuss. Whatever. Um, do me a favor. If you're new to my channel, if you're not new to my channel, um, go throw Ren some love. Um, run over his channel. Support that man. Subscribe to that man and uh, listen to literally everything that he's done, which I apparently have not. Um, but I'm working my way through it. Got a lot of other stuff to do, too. People recommend a lot of other things, so I do a lot of other things. But um, we'll get there. We'll get there. It's a good way to end the night, I think. Um, I'm hoping he doesn't get into fucking rap Ren because my brain is fried. Um, and I, I, I spent, like, a few hours finishing a tattoo today. So it's, like, in a wrap right now. You can't probably see. But you can see that it's all bloody and shit. Um, it'll look better and not so jumbled. I'll show it to you guys once it heals. Anyways, um, if you like what I do, please like over there. Comment down below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's jump into some dominoes. Oh, you built this life. Okay, we don't have a video. This is just gonna be. This is just gonna be words and. All right. Oh, you built this life. Dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling. Oh, you built this like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling. You build us up just to knock us back down. Funny how you act surprised when we hit the ground. We're like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling. So bleed me. It's weird crackling in the background. Sorry, I cut him off when he was, when he was, when he was sounding good. My bad. So bleed me of all my self belief. My smile shows all my insecurity. It's interesting. It's a good play on words, right? Insecure teeth. If your insecurities are your teeth. In the kingdom of photoshopped kings and queens will never feel happy with ourselves. But insecure e cells Dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling Oh, you built this like dominoes Dominoes, dominoes falling Yo, oh, oh, build us up just to knock us back down Funny how you act surprised when we hit the ground We're like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling I hide my head under the sheet Cause how can I face a world that ridicules the weak? Where beauty is sold on the shelves, forbid that we find it in ourselves and And now I'm broke, it don't come cheap Alright, so I see where this is going. Um, this is in reference to media and societal influences um, on people and the impact it has on your everyday person who might be insecure about literally anything. Um, and what, what sort of falsities that we see in front of us, um, be it something Photoshopped or be it something, you know, just the stuff that we see that's 90% of the time not entirely real. Um, people, it says it right there, um, people go broke trying to, trying to fit a mold, trying to look a certain way um, trying to please, you know, somebody trying to please themselves. Um, you know, you wake up every day, look in the mirror and you're like, I don't look like that person on that magazine or that billboard. So what, what can I fix about myself? So it's, it's diving into a very, very deep rooted problem. that has been around a while. Um, just, uh, trying to, it's idolicizing in a sense. It's trying to mimic, um, you know, the, almost the unattainable because, I can't Photoshop myself when I'm walking around. Um, so it's, it's, uh, you, you create these falsities in your head that, that, that something is something that you see might be achievable. Um, when in reality, most of the time it's not, um, and most of the time it's not even real or, um, you know, there's specific people that are chosen that are, you know, just, that, that just look a certain way. And that's just, Sometimes it's God given, very rarely, but you know, it happens. Um, that's, and then it's, that's what the, I think the dominoes part comes from is it, um, 
once something falls, it, it kind of continues to fall, right? Um, once, once I fix my, fix my nose, now I'm too chubby. And once I get skinny again, I don't like my ears, um, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, and then it happens with people too. Um, once, once my best friend, you know, starts working out and gets all jacks, then I'm going to work out and get all jacks and then so on and so forth, my friends and their, so it's, it is kind of a, a domino effect. So I, I get, I think that's where this is going, but I talk too damn much. Sorry. Oh, you built this like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling. Oh, you built this like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling. Yo, oh, oh, build us up just to knock us back down. Funny how you act surprised when we hit the ground. We're like dominoes, dominoes, dominoes falling. Araya was the most beautiful girl in this world. She shined like diamonds and rubies and pearls But then, as soon as she turned 13 She forgot just how bright that it was that she gleamed Stuck in the material world of magazines That glamorise fake and photoshop beauty queens Top 10 beauty tips making her feel inadequate For the first time in her life she felt ugly so Araya stopped eating to lose weight She spent her dinner money on some makeup for her face But no matter how much she'd lost Or how much she bought She was never good enough Or so she thought Araya felt she could never be loved She started cutting her wrists and hiding her scars with gloves At 16, an anorexic beauty queen She collapses in a puddle of her tears and blood Another domino effect um, How it's, it's never good enough And then it it becomes dangerous with, um, you know, uh, de debilitating eating disorders and potential suicide attempts. This shit's real. Um, it's when Ren goes into storytelling, he, he didn't even rhyme some of that shit. And it's, it's still impactful. He becomes, it's, he's a great singer, but then he, he becomes a poet in a sense. And, um, this is this is uh, this is powerful. I, I didn't I didn't know I wasn't expecting this. I was I was kind of expecting bars to break down, and I was sort of dreading that. But this is um, it's this is an important message because this shit this shit is very very real, and it's not getting any better. Um, it's getting worse, if anything. Just because uh, with with the growth of and continued growth um, of social media. Um, I mean, you, you can go through your friends' feeds um, and, you know, people edit shit and, like, you're only going to post what looks good, right? So you see, like, you know, oh, this, this motherfucker must have quit his job and worked out and traveled the world and he looks really good and these photos are kind of saturated, but I don't know, he still looks really good, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's, uh, it's, not, just, it's not just magazines, any, you know, and, and, and TV anymore, it's... Um, it's it's in your face every fucking three stories you click on in social it's it's fucking it's pounded into your head um, and it's it's real 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 and it's not not getting better um, it's really dangerous too Cause she never felt enough, she never felt enough You sell us all this lie that we must buy to keep in touch We can never buy enough, never buy enough All the riches in the world can't buy a sense of self-love Funny how you act surprised when depression's levels rise When you're forced to be the inadequacy straight into our rise. Television shows that praise the beautiful people And talent competitions that just laugh at the feeble Billboards, magazines, people turn to plasticine Molded like a factory, we're growing up to fear Feeling ugly, it's lunacy, and not even the community Cause in Security breeds judgment, judgment breeds hate, no unity, and hierarchy based upon. <laughs> Ren is so beyond like his his time and his years. On aesthetics is what makes a kid in school get bullied for genetics. And I felt so ugly growing up. The way that I look sometimes got me beaten up. I mean, what the fuck? sort of culture do we live in when we're defined by the shape of our face when we're ashamed by the size of our waist when we're imprisoned by the form that we take and so we keep buying and spending that's just how this story goes you build us up just to knock us back down and we just keep falling like dominoes um that all we got there just more of the same yeah um 
Yeah, I mean, I, I said my thoughts um, kind of throughout. I, I didn't really want to stop that too much, but um, I don't know. If, if I'm not reacting, then you might as well just watch the video. But anyways, um, no, that's, it's, uh, that's, that's an important message. Um, it's, it's, uh, it, the, the importance, you know, to, to most people of like, um, you know, that, that have image issues is, and it's, it's, it's vast. It's, and, and honestly, like, it's weird. Like the, the majority of people won't even talk about it, you know, like it's, it's almost like, you know, like if like if 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 a girl tells you no I'm, I'm busy that day and you're like oh, all right wh what are you doing just, oh i just you know have an appointment okay you, this is just girl stuff or what, what kind of appointment are we talking about yeah it's just you know uh <laughs> it's it's like it's 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 weird it's weird um i mean it's not weird it's sad and it's like no nah, i just you know i'm just going to get some a little bit of Botox done and, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, it's, it sucks. Cause a lot of, a lot of those things, um, become addictive. I'm not just talking about like, um, you know, th those image changing things, um, personality changing things. Like, uh, when you're, when you do develop like, you know, some sort of, you know, eating disorders and if you become, you know, in a mental state where you are considering hurting yourself. Um, a lot of the shit, like, you know, that when, when that shit's shoved in your face so much that you see, you, you never feel like you're good enough. Um, it, it does have an effect on your psyche, right? And it can, it can harm somebody mentally where if they, if they're never, if they're never, if they feel like they're never going to be good enough, that's when you start getting dangerous thoughts of what am I doing here? You know, I don't, I don't look like that. You know, it's, it's sad. I could, I mean, I could talk for a long time, but I, I don't, I don't necessarily relate to it personally, but it's, it's something that's, it's very prevalent and it's, it's very obvious if you look, um, and it's very sad and, and everybody pro I'm sure you guys all know somebody who's dealt with some shit like that. So it's, it's an important message and, and good for Ren for, um, it, it, sh it should be something that's, you know, talked about and exposed more. There's a lot of brands I think that are, um, purposefully going a different route um, in in their choices on who they choose um, to to model and depict their products, their services, etc., um, in a in a positive way, in a good way. Um, just choosing kind of more your average everyday people. I think I think that that element of it is at least in some sense um, people are aware that like it was real bad. Like you know, especially the when eating disorders were cool, like in the late nineties and even in the eighties, um, that was, that was, I think a lot more prevalent. It's still definitely prevalent, but I, um, you, you heard about it a lot more with like, with people that were famous that, you know, now you, you know, a lot of the, a lot of like women, for example, and I'm just, I'm just talking, but because they're, you know, sort of objectified more in the media. Um, and women, women, I think have, a little bit more of like an image issue when they see other women, men, I think tend to care less, um, you know, about that. Like, I, I don't know me, myself, I, I see a dude. I'm like, that's a good looking dude. Good on him. Um, but women, like, I think now they're, they're kind of, they're kind of owning their imperfections more than trying to change it. They're owning their thick. They're owning their, I mean, you look at, you look around and either magazines and billboards even musicians lizzo uh i don't know it's the first one that came to mind i'm just i'm just saying like and not i'm not trying to shame at all i'm just saying as an example like i think that it's it's getting better in that sense from an image standpoint of of kind of owning that um anyways i'm i'm just rambling and rambling i apologize um but yeah it's it's something that definitely needs to be paid attention to um you're as long as you are you and you are happy, you are good enough, period. Um, anyways, like if you like, comment down below, subscribe, 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 and uh, we'll keep it moving.